are again on my driveway. If everybody remembers last year, there was a video called my driveway buck, which was a nice 10 point deer for here in West Central Michigan. <gasps> there he is. Oh, he didn't go 100 yards. Oh, there he is. So I'm on my driveway again this time behind me. I've got my turkey stuff and I am supposed to be off to pick my kids up from school right now, but just drove by one of my food plots and there is a giant long beard in there. So what that means is we are going to do a quick audible. I am going to stop and change into my hunting gear, which again is in the back here. Get changed into that and maybe a tad late to pick up the kids. We're going to try to get a driveway turkey today. All right, so I've just got everything changed. Obviously, got the truck behind me here. Um, one slight thing, remember how I was talking about I always have all my turkey stuff behind me. That is not necessarily true. I do not have my boots with me right now, so we are rolling straight tennis shoes, which is going to work out good because it is starting to give a light sprinkle. Everybody knows I love a good spot and stalk. We are going to try to spot and stalk in on this turkey. All right, so I got the quick change here. I've got a chesty on. Then I've got a camera on the end of the shotgun. So we're self-filming this bad boy. I'm gonna go back down my driveway, which is about a mile long, I'm gonna park halfway and then get out and do a little, little sneak. It looked like that gobbler was with a hen, so they bet they haven't gone very far. And I'll be honest, I've seen this gobbler on my driveway about, probably about 15 times. So I knew he was gonna be here. This hen has been here all the time too. It's weird, I'm just seeing one, but. And it is starting to rain a little bit better, which is going to be awesome for covering sound. Not so good for the tennis shoes. Well, I am happy that I came back around to double check that he was still out in the food plot. Because it looks like they have moved on somewhere. Which is weird, because I did a pretty darn quick change. Hmm. So we play the cat and mouse game, I see. All right. I had a feeling those turkeys didn't go very far. I was just cruising out to pick the kids up from practice tonight, and lo and behold, I spotted them right off the driveway again. So I'm gonna cruise to the end here, do a quick change, and I think I can get to where he's at. Actually, I know I can get to where he's at. So I'm gonna do a quick change, and it's game on. Stop raining, it's time. All right, so. So I saw the same turkey that I did earlier today. There's actually two of them. One's a, one's a big long beard. They're right off my driveway. So changed up again. I don't know what they happened to them earlier today in that rain, but they're back right now. Um, I'm going to tuck along. They're not that far off my driveway. It's a crazy thing. Like this is driveway produces. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak along the edge and then there's this big loop that cuts down. And there's no way there. I'm going to use that loop kind of as my coverage. I'm going to go down that and then I should pop out the other side and this should be right there. What I've got is, like you said, I got this in my hand. I've got a GoPro I'll turn on right before. And then in the back here, I'm going to try a tactic cam. I've never used it before. So we'll give that a try. So just starting to sneak up on the driveway here. You can see it. You can almost see it. There's the road. So I'm gonna go to there. And once I hit that road, they're about 75 yards. They're tucked right on the corner. And there's a light wind. I don't know if you can hear it in this camera or not, but there's a light wind. And that wind should, it's coming right in my face. So I should make enough noise. I'll be able to get right on top of them before they even know what's going on. There's something about still hunting turkeys. That is just awesome, especially on my driveway.
Oh, my goodness, I can't believe that worked. So I can't believe that just worked, but guess what? Driveway turkey down right there. We're gonna go take a look at it. So, because I drive this driveway literally four to five times a day, every day of my life, I know it pretty well. Once I saw where these turkeys were kind of resting up on the side over here, I knew they were in a spot I could get to them. Literally had to scoot around this power box on my driveway, but I can't believe that worked. Big Tom down. Michigan late season, this time of year, they get a little funky to the call. And they come here, they're not here. The crazy thing is they're not on my property because it's wooded. They're not here early. They're out in the field where they're calling and so forth. But late season, this is, let's see, about end of May. So season goes to the last day of May here in Michigan. We have the ZZ unit. They hang on my property, especially late in the afternoon because they roost right next to the lake over here. Got this big bird. Whew. I can love spot and stalk turkey hunting. Oh, here he is. Old Michigan gobbler. Like that. Oh, looks like a two-year-old bird. Gorgeous. We can spot and stalk driveway turkey. This driveway is productive. Whitetail last year, turkey in the spring. That's pretty freaking sweet. Michigan spring turkey hunt. Now we get the great walk out to go find somebody in my family to help me take pictures. Most likely it's going to be Shelly, probably. Just walking down the driveway. I can't, I can't believe that worked. But I had been seeing the, these birds pretty much non-stop for the last week this time of night. Got everything in the car. That's why I'm got the camo, decoys, shotgun, whatever you need. I always got it with me in the car for the season. Yep. Shaking. Would have been canned already from my camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> 